Who was Adrian J. Evel? The only known photograph taken during the U.S. Dakota War was captured by Adrian J. Evel on August 21st. The photograph consists of settlers fleeing the upper agency on their way to Fort Ridgely. The photograph has become an iconic image that symbolizes the travails of the victims of the 1862 war. Evel was born to German parents in Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, in 1840. He came to the United States in 1850 for his education. Ebel studied photography at the Sheffield Scientific School in New Haven, Connecticut, and by 1862 was working as a photographer in Chicago. Ebel also operated a phantasmagorical magic lantern show. In the summer of 1862, Ebel sought to travel to Minnesota to take photos of the Dakota and the countryside for use in his magic lantern show. On August 3rd, despite having very little money, Ebel departed for Minnesota where he arrived on August 6th. Ebel then learned that the Dakota would be gathering for an annuity payment and he saw it as an opportunity to take many portraits. He left for the upper agency on August 7th, but, having no money, had to pay for his travel expenses by exchanging photographs for food and lodging. Ebel arrived to the upper agency on August 15th where he took several photographs of agency life, but when war broke out, Ebel was forced to flee along with the other settlers near the upper agency. It was during this time that Ebel captured his famous image of the settlers along the prairie. After fleeing to safety, Ebel volunteered to help relieve the soldiers at Birch Cooley. Ebel stayed on with the army and fought at the Battle of Wood Lake. He was also stationed at Camp Lincoln following the war and was present at the hangings on December 26th. Ebel's photographs were used as models for wood engravings published in the June 1863 edition of Harper's New Monthly Magazine.